Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana and today, with the help of our fantastic preschoolers here at the zoo, you guys are looking like you're ready to rock and roll, right? Yeah, perfect. We're going to talk about butterflies because it is springtime and we're going to start seeing more and more of them and especially we're going to start seeing how they transform into butterflies and I tell you what, we have all three stages right here to show you. Now first of all, we're going to get a close look inside there. This is actually a painted lady cat, well it's a butterfly, it's going to be a butterfly, it's a painted lady butterfly, but right now it's in what we call the larva stage, the caterpillar. So this little caterpillar is going to crawl around, it's going to eat all those, all those leaves and it's going to be a very hungry caterpillar like the book says, and they're going to eat a bunch of leaves and they're going to get really big. Then what's going to happen is, then what's going to happen is they're going to form this right here. A lot of people call it a cocoon, right? You guys heard that before? But the fancy word, big science word, is actually chrysalis, and this is called the pupa stage. Isn't that a weird word? Pupa, yeah. Anyway, that's what that stage is called. And what's going to happen is inside of this chrysalis or this cocoon, basically the caterpillar is going to actually break up and turn into like almost like a, a sludge, like a milky substance, and then it's going to reform. And after a couple weeks, that chrysalis is then going to form into the painted lady butterfly and you can take a look inside and see what these butterflies turn into and then what's going to happen here at the zoo is we're going to release these butterflies out into nature it's going to be pretty cool and butterflies are so important to the environment because they help to pollinate flowers and if you've ever seen a butterfly they've got this funny looking thing that comes off the front of their face like this, it's called a proboscis, which is kind of like a big tongue, and that's what allows them to suck out the pollen and suck out the food that they want to eat, and then they'll go to the next flower, and all the pollen that's on their legs and their bodies is transferred to the other flowers, and that's how flowers, you get flowers over there, and get flowers over there, that's how flowers move, because flowers can't walk, can they? No. No, so they need butterflies and bees and birds to help move the pollen for them. Pretty cool. But we love this project here at the zoo school because it is so fun for these guys to see how these animals transform from the caterpillar to butterfly. It is just a cool thing to see. And while you're out and about, look under some leaves. You may see some of these chrysalis hanging out, of course, as they transform into whatever beautiful butterfly it may be. Now, one word of caution, though, if you find the caterpillars out there, be careful because some caterpillars can be poisonous, which means if you touch them, it's going to hurt you and you don't want that to happen. So if you see caterpillars, you might not want to pick them up just in case it's one of those poisonous ones. You got it? Okay. Awesome. Guys, until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy here with our Zeus School Preschool and our beautiful painted ladies.